welcome you all for this webinar. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. I think it's safe to say that 2020 was a year like no other. And that 2021 will certainly not revert back to the old normal. How do you define these times? The unique period in your life when you spend more time with your loved ones, not because you chose to, but because nature forced you to. These are the strange times where we find ourselves pondering over what could be and finding ways to cope up with the new ways of living that's emerged from the ongoing global crisis. I recently read a report which uh, probably suggested that today most people across the globe are seeking comfort and security to create a protected and sheltered environment for themselves. Isn't that what people wanted all through their history of evolution? Brands across the board are revisiting their strategies to deliver a sense of safety and trust among the larger community. While this is the case during the pandemic, the crisis will cause a long-term psychological shift in how we do things. That makes it imperative for marketeers to find, to lead with agility and adapt to change to win customers' trust. Here we have today Dheeraj Sina to share his insights on the topic, navigating marketing in the new age. Well, Dheeraj Sina is one of the best, India's best marketing brains. Our friendship goes more than a decade, thanks to Alvin for that. And he is inspired by his sheer presence and thoughts on several occasions in our campus and in our conferences. One of his books was launched in our campus when the world was normal. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Dheeraj Sina was invited as a guest speaker at the world's best and the first university, yes, the Harvard University. He is one of the most sought out to speak globally. Thank you, Dheeraj, for, for uh, sharing your valuable time for us. And I know how busy you are. And thank you for this uh, occasion. Dheeraj, welcome on board. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Good. In a, in, a, in a classical situation, I would have flown down to Coimbatore today and I would be in your big auditorium talking to all of you guys, right? I miss, I miss that energy. Uh, it's, tough to, it's tough to make a presentation like this uh, on Zoom because my presentations typically have a lot of videos. Uh, and, and classically, I run into trouble with videos when I'm doing a face-to-face -face presentation, but this is Zoom, so we'll figure that out. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I think uh, I will uh, talk a bit about how marketing is shaping up in today's times. How uh, we've been doing innovation during the lockdown, during the pandemic. How we've been uh, keeping the brands and the businesses alive. Uh, I'll share some examples of the work we've done for brands such as Spotify, HDFC Bank uh, in the past couple of months, uh, and a few principles around that. So I'll try and do that. And then uh, I look forward to some conversations with you guys, because uh, in, a, in a format like this, uh, it's very easy that I can keep speaking and you can all have your videos off and maybe doing something on the side. Uh, so the idea, idea is, is to have a good conversation uh, for you guys to ask as many questions as you can. So I'll keep my presentation hopefully short and then we can look forward to a conversation. So, I mean, that's the whole idea, right? How do you... How do you navigate marketing in, in the new age? And, uh, you know, when, when pandemic hit, uh, right, which is about last year around March, uh, right, one of the biggest questions, and see, typically in, in business and management, I mean, you know, if there's an issue, there's been a precedence, right? You want to increase market share, uh, there are books you can read. You want to launch a new brand or a business. Uh, there's so many examples of so many brands having done this in the past. But something like a pandemic, there was no precedence. Right? There was no rule book. There was no playbook on how do you navigate this, uh, right? And suddenly, uh, out of a blue, you know, um, uh, retail environment got shut. Uh, you know, the first pandemic uh, demand. I mean, for a lot of brands, uh, such as automotive brands in, say, 
uh, Jeep or Bajaj, the April sales 2020 was zero, right? Which has never been the case before. And they were one of the biggest things in front of us as marketing people and marketing consultants who have so many clients was what do you do during this period, right? Do you just uh, kind of lock your door and uh, and take a holiday for three months, sleep it out and, and what will happen? Or do you actually go out and actively uh, navigate the pandemic? And that's when we launched uh, this new thinking framework, uh, which we call the short term thinking framework. And I named it 036. Right now, the whole idea behind this framework is that if you look at uh, strategy and, and you guys uh, must be reading so many books, Kotler, Porter, whatever you're reading, uh, when it comes to brand and business, everything is about the long term, right? Everything is about a long term strategy that the brand will get built in 10 years time. The business will give return on investment in five years time. What is your three year plan, right? Everything is a far future uh, long term. Uh, and very little uh, has been thought through about the short term. But when the pandemic hit, the biggest thing was how do we think through the short term? What should be our strategy in the immediate, right? And then I thought a little harder and I realized if you look at most of the brands and businesses of today, if you look at a Google, look at Facebook, all of these brands were not built in the long term. And I'll explain why, right? All of these brands started off at something very, very different. Right, Google started off as a as a search page. Facebook started off as a as a dom to dom exchange between friends, right? And they pivoted through various short terms to become what they are about. So, in the new economy, in today's times, brands and businesses, you don't know what's going to happen five years from now. Nobody knows, right? If Dr. Ram or me or Alvin or anybody pretends that we have a clue, we are fooling ourselves and we're fooling you. Right? We have no clue what's going to happen in five years. We have no clue what's going to happen next year. right? And therefore, what we need to focus on strategy, on business, in brands, is what are we going to do now, which is zero? What are we going to do in three months from now? Three. And what are we going to do six months from now? Zero, three, six. Right? And that's the strategy framework we launched uh, for our clients uh, during the pandemic. Uh, we, uh, we turned this into a workshop. Uh, which we took two clients and, and with all the clients we were thinking, uh, what should we be doing uh, in the immediate, right? What should we be doing? In, in, and that's how we resuscitated the business during the pandemic. And now the short term thinking model has become a model that we use on a daily basis for our clients. So tomorrow, if you're launching a new brand, right? Don't worry about what that brand will become in five years time. Worry about what that brand will do when you go out in the immediate zero. What will you do in next six months? What will you do for the first year? If you're able to float your brand for one year, if you're able to float your brand business for one year, you have next year to live for. You have more funding to, to get, right? And that's a new world that we are living, living uh, in. Yeah, just one sec. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about six key themes uh, that we've gathered around this and I'll show you some work. Number one is a lot of work we're doing now in terms of building brands and businesses is in the intersection of data, technology, and platforms, uh, right? Earlier, creativity used to happen in a vacuum, uh, right? One person or two people went away and they thought of some crazy idea and came back and made an ad or, or built a brand, right? That's not the thing today, right? Today, you have a lot of data. I mean, everything that you guys are doing is getting mapped, right? It's possible to, to target uh, audience to the degree of one person, right? I mean, your likes, your dislikes, websites you're visiting, people you're talking to, it's all available as data, right? Second is, we have available with us technology, right? You could use AI, you could use ML, you could build a technology platform, you could build a, a video platform, right? So you have technology available to you to solve problems. And I show you some examples of how we're using technology to solve problems. And the third is the platforms. Facebook, Google, podcast, right? These are the platforms on which people like yourself are spending 80% of your time, right? How do we build brands on these platforms? That understanding is very, very important because brands today are not getting built on TV. They're getting built on Instagram. They're getting built on Facebook. They're getting built on LinkedIn, right? So that's where the real marketing thinking is happening uh, in today's times, right? I'll try and show you a, a few examples of work that we've done uh, for Spotify around this, right? Let me see if I can play this for you and then I'll talk about it.
There are problems, and then there are unique Indian problems. 1.3 billion of them. But the truth is, music helps you hustle on. So with Spotify's 3 billion playlists, we told every Indian problem. Hey, there's a playlist for that on billboards across India. We did geographical social listening, then sentiment analysis, and offered help with 3 billion playlists. We tickled the corporate owls and asked, graveyard shift, but already dead inside? There's a playlist for that, zombie business. And when some were pushed out of the Delhi Metro, we said, got down here not by choice? There's a playlist for that, train harder. We calmed the anxious traffic at the Indian space station and asked, shooting for the moon, but stuck at the signal? There's a playlist for that, Bruno Mars. And to the undergrads waiting to start up, we said, when the only angel you're looking for is an investor, there's a playlist for that, living on a prayer. That's not all. We cleverly sparked conversations about arranged marriages, frustrated software engineers, epic college rivalry, rejected foreign visas, failed vacation plans, and many more. With over 1,153 direct messages to India, an outdoor campaign that came from online chatter circled back to social media with over 72,000 unique shares. There's a playlist for that became a part of internet slang and how. Yeah, so this was, uh, you know, this is what I call India's first digital campaign, right? It started with something as traditional as billboards, right? Which is very traditional, but we use geo listening, we use data. Uh, and these were like 1000 billboards that we put, uh, 1151 billboards we put uh, all through India. But the real conversation happened on digital, right? So how you strangulated data to a traditional medium back uh, to internet and created conversation. This is an example of, of that and being able to do that. Right. So uh, the second, the, the first idea of data and, and digital, right? The second thought is obviously, uh, how do you build innovation, uh, right? Uh, when you put in a box, uh, yeah. And uh, let me talk to you about two examples and we will uh, show videos, right? So when pandemic hit, uh, we realized that uh, we are obviously, a lot of us are privileged. We have internet uh, connections, most of the education shifted online. But we realized that uh, in tier two, tier three India, in rural India, right? Uh, there was a patriarchy even within pandemic. So while the boys of the house got access to the device and learning, the girls were sent back to chores, right? In rural India, especially. And with a brand such as Whisper, we have this purpose where we want to keep girls in school. Uh, right, so Whisper as a brand is about uh, we don't want girls to fall out of school either because of periods or access to uh, resources, and there's a purpose uh, that the brand lives with. So during pandemic, for Whisper, we created what we call Mobile Shala. Mobile Shala is basically an online digital learning platform for girls. Uh, right, so through these platform and we tie up uh, with various brands so that we could source them devices, etc. We made sure that girls continue to have access to education despite the pandemic. So that's one piece which came out of the short term 036 uh, strategy. The second, uh, the second piece is what we call uh, weddings from home. Right now, Shadi.com is a is a client, right? And in India, you know that uh, there are two things about Shadi. One, the Shadi happens according to the Bahurath. Right. If the, if the Mahurat goes away, then the Shadi is lost. Right. You don't know what's going to happen. So when the when the lockdown kicked in, right, all the Shadi which were scheduled for those Mahurat, they were in jeopardy on, on what, what's going to happen with those Shadis. Second, Shadi in India is never on paper. Right. It's, it's a marriage of, of families, marriage of friends. There has to be a dhol, there has to be mehdi, there has to be gana bajana, there has to be khana. Without that, there's no Shadi. Right. And therefore, we said, how do we get the great Indian wedding online? And we work with Shadi.com to build this platform called Weddings from Home, where we arrange for online tutorials on makeup, mehdi. We got the dhol guy, we got Sangeet, and we got the post uh, marriage uh, party along with the priest. I mean, this became so popular that I started getting uh, messages on LinkedIn saying, I want to get a marriage done. Can you help me with that? So let's watch these two videos. First is Mobile Shala, and the second is uh, Weddings from Home. 
सिर्फ यूनिफॉर्म में नहीं पर रोज क्लास अटेंड करती हूँ टीचर अटेंडेंस नहीं लेती लेकिन मैं ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट होती हूँ यहाँ कोई ब्लैक बोर्ड नहीं है पर मेरी क्लास चालू है मैथ साइंस इंग्लिश सब का रूटीन बारी बारी है बिना टाइम टेबल के खूब करते हम तैयारी है स्कूल्स बंद हुए तो क्या हुआ पढ़ाई लिखाई तो जारी है क्योंकि हमारे पास है मोबाइल शाला मोबाइल शाला विस्पर के कीप गर्ल्स इन स्कूल मिशन की नई पहल है जहां मोबाइल फोन के जरिए लड़कियां अपनी पढ़ाई जारी रख सकती हैं बिना किसी फीस के आज ही www.keepgirlsinschoolindia.org पे जाएं स्कूल सब्जेक्ट्स और पीरियड्स के बारे में सारी जानकारी अपनी बच्ची को दिलवाए विस्पर मोबाइल शाला अब बच्चे स्कूल नहीं जा सकते तो क्या हुआ स्कूल तो उनके पास आ सकता है How do you pull off a big fat Indian wedding when there is this? Sampurna desh mein sampurna lockdown hone ja raha. In a country where thirty thousand weddings happen every day, it can take months for the auspicious date called the Mahurat, when the heavenly stars and planets align to decide the time of the ceremony. So no weddings on Shadi. dot com for a year? <laughs> Don't think so. We created weddings from home. For India's largest arranged marriage portal, a one of a kind platform that makes a big fat Indian wedding happen even in times of social distancing, even for couples that are thousand kilometers apart. What's a wedding without a pundit? Got one? <laughs> Make that two. Wedding invites done, shared with an RSVP, of course. Venue perfect. Guests they're here. Groom side here. Bride's family, you are here, right from the wedding decor. No, maybe I like this one. To the best bridal makeup artist in the business. All over the eyes. Whoa, nice. Even the traditional henna. Yup, all done virtually. Come on, the mahurat is here. Congratulations, kids. What's left? Oh yeah, after party. <laughs> Two people in love coming together forever? Beautiful. There were only 200 invites, but good news spreads fast. 26,000 guests. Oh, and there are more guests. Online shadi ke zariye bandhan mein badhe dula dulan. A virtual wedding? Yes, the lockdown cannot stop couples who want to get married. Thousands tune in to watch an online wedding. Few weddings done, and Pandit Ji looks like we have more weddings to do now. And everything done on Shadi's weddings from home, except honeymoon. That can wait. <laughs> Right, so those were a few innovations that we did. I talked to you about the zero three six format, right? And these were the innovations which happened uh, because of that framework. The other, the other, other aspect, obviously, that I will talk about is how you can use technology, right? We spoke about data, technology, and platforms uh, when we started today's conversation. How you can use technology to actually solve problems, uh, right? And 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 there are two pieces again. I will talk about. I mean, earlier days, uh, you know. marketing branding advertising was all about playing with words and images right how did you build a brand you you created an ad you created a print uh, piece you did packaging right uh, what we have available today uh, right and in in india especially in the market such as india what is easily available are phd's and scientists and technologies so we can actually brands can actually use technology to create products and innovations to solve real problems right and those initiatives those solutions become bigger marketing uh, campaigns than any advertising or any poster or any television commercial can ever become uh, i'll show you two pieces again here one is uh, uh, we built a pothole detecting technology uh, which we launched with a brand called aco aco is an insurance brand right and they are about two wheeler insurance right so what better to build insurance than Uh, actually prevent accidents right so we built for echo uh, 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 a technology that you strap onto your bike and it detects upcoming potholes and guides you around it thereby saving lives and that's a marketing campaign for echo right 
the other one is we built a anti collision uh, system for hp which prevents accidents at upin bends using radar technology so both pieces are innovation they are pieces of technology they are global award winning innovations but use as marketing devices for these brands so uh, street i for echo and uh, roads that honk for hp during the monsoon water logging causes thousands of potholes to become invisible overnight making them a death trap for two-wheeler commuters. How can a biker avoid something he can't even see? Introducing Street Eye, a motorcycle-mounted device that can detect submerged potholes in real time. Using light-detecting stereo cams with machine learning, Street Eye is coded to perform linear mapping and detect spatial disturbances in microseconds. Street Eye, coming soon. किलोमीटर डेढ़ डेढ़ किलोमीटर वो नीचे नाले में चले जाती हैं गाड़ी बड़ी बड़ी खाई है इस रोड पे गाड़ियां जो आती हैं बेंच पे ओवरटेक करती हैं या स्पीड पे होती हैं एक दूसरे का ब्रश हो जाती है तो उसमें काफी कैजुअलिटीज भी होती हैं On the hairpin bends, nobody knows that what is coming from the other side at what speed, and if they don't know, they can't take any action depending upon that. We created Smart Life poles with radar technology. The radar transmits an electromagnetic wave of 24 gigahertz frequency and measures the wavelength shift of the reflected wave, which occurs due to the speeding vehicle. These Smart Life poles communicate with each other to alert drivers on both sides of the blind curve with the sound of a horn. The Smart Life poles consist of a vehicle detection and speed sensing radar. a warning system with an led and a horn a pcb unit and lastly a radio for communication between the poles the humans instinctively react to sound so it uses that concept to provide them input the radar on the smart life poles reads the speed of the vehicles and communicates with the smart life pole at the other end they alert the drivers on both sides by honking indicating them to slow down and cross safely Yeah, so both these pieces of technology. In fact, the second one is a big winner at CAN. We won CAN Line Innovation for it. And the day we were presenting that uh, at CAN, there was also uh, you know tilt brush from Microsoft. There was Google, uh, and that's that's where marketing has come today, right? So when you're thinking marketing, when you're thinking building a brand, when you're thinking building a business, everything communicates, right? Your innovation communicates. It's not just your your canvas. is not just words and images your canvas is technology your canvas is data your canvas is innovation uh, that you can really create so that's really the point of these two examples uh, moving on so the other aspect obviously is about you know how do you use human insights to to change behavior to to impact behavior in a in a big way right uh, because Uh, you know you touch the emotion of people uh, then then people respond to your brand so i'll show you two examples uh, one is uh, for car dekho car dekho is a online platform where you can sell and buy cars uh, right so for car dekho we have this insight that when young people right when you just learn to drive when you go out and drive you have this whole uh, learning uh, l 
red L that you can paste on your car and expect that others kind of treat you kindly on the road, right? And we said, what about what about older people, right? Because they, we were seeing a lot of road rage uh, against older people because they're driving slow or they are, uh, you know, not moving out of the lane. And we could see young people kind of honking, brushing them aside. And we said, what if we ran a campaign to say E for elderly? So just as you have L for learners, what about putting E for elderly? So that when an elderly person is driving on the road, they get the courtesy and the respect uh, that they uh, deserve. And this turned into a movement when a lot of people actually put that up on their cars and shared videos and so on and so forth. So that's one campaign uh, I want to talk about and show you. The other is again a product of the 036, the short term thinking format. So the last pandemic when it hit, I'm sure you guys know that the biggest thing was making those circles on the road so that people can stand apart, right? The six feet distance circle, the, the, the social distancing circles, right? Uh, and one of the ideas we had, when you look at the HDFC bank grid, right? It looks like a safety grid with those uh, red locks from all sides. And we said, what if we use that grid to paint on the, on the ground so that people know how to stand apart from each other? But who puts their brand logo on the ground? for people to stamp on, right? I mean, if you look at all the marketing literature or brand thinking, the brand is a revered, respected thing. Nobody would ever say that you should uh, put your brand logo on things which can be destroyed, worse still stepped upon. And India stepping upon something is like a mark of huge disrespect, right? But we were able to convince HDFC Bank because they realized that in these times, it's not about being respected, but it's about being relevant. Right. So we took the HDFC grid and we painted social distancing markers outside ATMs, outside shops. It became such a huge cultural phenomena that administration, police, civil administration were uh, talking to us and getting us. It became a huge movement. Again, two very different uh, out of the box examples of how to uh, do brand thinking. So we'll see E for elderly and HDFC bank grid. I'm retired. Museum piece, man. I'm a little social life. Bobby, hey, Johnny, hey, Sharma, hey, Verma, hey. This pandemic is very lovely. It's the Hamlet. Chris Tapni got it all right. But it's a very big problem. You guys, you can't get the impression that you can't get the honking, honking. Don't rant, Baba. respect. No honking, no cutting, only respecting. E for elderly. Elderly Buzurk. Hello? <laughs> no sense of style, no. There's no sense of style. Chalo, chalo, do. अगर खुद के घर में कोई सीनियर सिटिजन ड्राइवर हो, तो उनकी गाड़ी पे ये स्टिकर लगाना ना भूलिएगा. So look out for this symbol on the nearby cars. Learner के लिए लगो. Now there's an E for elderly. thankful uh, to SDFC that they have helped us uh, much about uh, 
uh, our uh, initiatives uh, towards uh, making social distance uh, uh, in this time. And the other piece is how do you how do you amplify a brand, right? I mean, you are given a, a certain brand which has a lot of equity, and how do you continue to do more work for the brand? So one example I will talk about is Jeep, right? Now Jeep is a classical off-roader American brand has all American uh, you know values and equity. How do you make it relevant for a country like India without diluting the off-roading aspect, right? And when you're working for Jeep, we realize that in India there are many villages. which are far away from cities right and they have undulated roads bad roads and those people have never voted in their life the entire villages which have not voted in their life because they have not had access to the polling booth and there in we had this idea that if jeep is about off roading right can we use jeep to bring these people from villages who never voted through the bad roads off roading showing jeeps off roading abilities to the polling booths and give them a once in a lifetime opportunity to do vote right and therein came this whole idea of jeep democracy became a huge hit a lot of jeep community people wrote back to us saying this is such an excellent initiative when you are doing next time tell us and we will bring our jeep and we will fetch people uh, to polling booths so that they are part of the democracy so that's one example the second example another one again uh, is from hdfc bank right uh, and this is about blood donation right there's so many uh, cases of blood donation that have been done but this was very unique so our insight was that in india right people i mean if i'm god forbid but if somebody puts a message out uh, that you know uh, my relative my mother father uh, son needs blood 20 people will come right because people know you right but for general mass level unknown blood donation camps very few people turn up because the inside is that in india we are able we are willing to do anything for the people that we care for right but we find it difficult to do charity for people that we don't know right so we found out this one person called mr mithani right who's been donating blood for 65 years but now because of his age doctors have told him that you cannot donate blood anymore and then the whole campaign was to build empathy to build care for this person so if people care for this person they have to stop him from going and donating more blood so two examples again of how do you build a purpose how do you take a brand's core idea and amplify it so jeep drive for democracy and stop mithani in the current indian elections 900 million people will go to vote. This is the story of those who will be left behind. 1600 kilometers from the capital is a small village in the heart of the Western Ghats. Young people here have moved to the city to find work, leaving behind women, children and the elderly. Bhaktan tumhe rasta chare jao rakhte hain. गाड़ी We took our cars out into the environments they were made for, ferrying people to their nearest polling stations so they could vote for the first time ever. Driving for over 11 hours in multiple trips, covering 800 kilometers. Making sure the voice heard loud and clear. Because in the world's largest democracy, no one should be left behind. Guys, there's a blood donation drive that's asking people to stop a man from donating blood. 
Yes, you heard it right. They want to stop a man from donating blood. HDFC Bank runs an annual blood donation drive. For four years now, we have been getting a weak response. The problem is, blood donation drives don't get people to donate blood. People only donate blood for the ones they care about. That's why this year we introduced the country to Mr. Mathani. He loves posing, singing, and dancing. He has donated blood a record 151 times in the last 30 years. But now he is 65, and doctors have warned donating blood anymore could be fatal. Thus began our campaign, Stop Mathani. We started off by featuring Mr. Mathani on talk shows, radio stations, and news channels. We then got his friends, family, and even his doctor to address their worries about him donating at the age of 65. By now, the country had fallen in love with him, and everyone wanted to stop him from donating. So, Mr. Mathani posted, what will it take for him to stop? A hundred thousand donors. As we said earlier, people only donate blood for the ones they care about. I will donate my blood. Thousands began to pledge their blood for Mr. Mathani. I will do it. Let's all stop, Mr. Mathani. We made sure he could see it all with a live ticker outside his house. Stop Mathani was a huge success. The only number we'll leave you with is, we got 350,000 donors. More than the population of 53 countries. The last set of uh, examples and principle, right, is this idea of you know building positivity, right? I mean, if you look at uh, today's times, right, uh, during pandemic, we've seen images that are so difficult to unsee in our lives, right? And therefore, how do you build positivity? One, second is also how do you use an occasion to write the brand, right? Sometimes things happen, uh, what we call moment marketing. Something very interesting happens in the environment. And you want to be relevant to the current environment, right? You want to talk about that environment. You want to use that moment. So those are the few examples I want to talk about. First is uh, an example around Oreo, uh, where we, uh, you know, use this idea that during the pandemic, the parents can spend more time together uh, playing, right? So it's very contextual to, uh, to uh, pandemic and parents playing together. And there's a whole campaign around that. So we'll show you that. Uh, the second one is very interesting. So uh, when Anushka and Virat were in the family way and they were having a baby, uh, we wanted to use that moment. We wanted to use that occasion. Uh, and without having signed Virat, we uh, got uh, Indian Indians who have been parents. So fathers uh, give advice to Virat uh, saying, now that you are having a child, how do you manage the child, uh, right? And that's something going off the field. And this sat very well with the idea of Pampers, where it's about it takes two. So Pamper wants to champion the cause that bringing up the child is not just the job of the mother, but the job of the father as well. So the father and mother needs to come together to bring up children. And therefore, Virat and Anushka as an example. And we pulled that off as a, as a coup because we never signed Virat for this. So that's the second example. Uh, and it was uh, it was trending everywhere. The third example is phone pay, which you might have seen uh, during the IPL uh, previous. Again, the phone pay example is about how do you build visibility? How do you uh, you know build positivity around a brand uh, through humor, through salience? So there's a campaign between uh, Amir Khan uh, to uh, and Alia Bhatt uh, bringing about all the aspects of phone pay. And after this campaign, in fact, phone pay became the number one brand in payments in India overtaking Google Pay. So watch these three uh, pieces and then be ready with your questions. Who is this? Now less time phone pay, more time Siva. Ke liye. From now, my bad thing and your bowling. We'll make breakfast for Mama every Sunday. This one. This one is your Ziva. <laughs> the more we stay playful, the more we connect. Take your play pledge at oreoplaypledge.com.
सही बोला मैडम अपने सब लोग है फोन पे मिसेस के पास है शालू के पास राजू और डीसीपी सर सर फोन पे फोन पे बढ़िया सर शालू कौन कौन चल कितना हुआ दो सौ पंद्रह अरे कितना बड़ा शिंडे शिंडे जोम शिंडे सेफ है शाम पे ओ शिंडे इधर भी करते जाओ जब बढ़ते करते फोन पे क्यूआर से पे करो गारंटीड कैशबैक पाओ yeah so though that's broadly uh, right uh, the sum of the presentation that i want to talk about largely you know if you look at it what we're doing is we're saying uh, let's be alive to the moment right let's do things uh, which are going to work now so whether it's uh, shaadi from home uh, whether uh, you know it's uh, mobile shala it's all about what's going on in the now that's one second is uh, you know living your purpose being larger than what just the brand is about right so so uh, democracy owning democracy for jeep using education for mobile shala putting your logo on the ground uh, for hdfc bank right that's the second thing third is think beyond just advertising think about what you're doing you could create an innovation you could create a platform everything is marketing right today marketing is if you look at brands such as google they have not been built through marketing they've been built through product uh, right so you can build your brand your business through product and everything you do uh, in your business right uh, and about your brand is marketing as well uh, so those are the big uh, things that we have learned in last say about a year uh, uh, i'm happy to get questions from you guys thank you sir the session is now open for questions kindly use the virtual raise hand or the chat box to do the same so i would like to begin by asking you uh, considering the fact that consumers don't want to be deeply involved with the product or its features how do you think brands can help the consumers to make the right choice and make them feel that they're not gone wrong in choosing them yeah see essentially uh, the i mean you guys would have read a lot about saying uh, you know differentiation is the main thing and so on and so forth i mean our our learning is that people don't care for differentiation right nobody i mean when you buying a car you're not trying to find out how's one brand different from the other right you're looking at which car suits your needs which car suits your budget which car uh, do you like right nobody wakes up in the morning saying okay which toothpaste should i brush my teeth with colgate or should i brush my teeth with pepsodent right so people are not interested so much into how one thing is different from the other people are interested into how one thing is more uh, relevant or important to them right and therefore if you go with that and if you make sure that your brand is salient people are noticing you you're telling an interesting story people want to uh, hear about you talk about you you're doing something interesting that gets talked about i think you're doing well with your marketing and your brand thank you sir we have devdashni on the chat box and uh, she wants to know how can we take control of a brand online through social media marketing and what type of social media convert uh, content converts best so it actually depends on the brand and the category uh, right but the the rule of thumb on social media is that see social media is not one platform facebook is a different platform than uh, insta insta is different from linkedin linkedin is different from uh, twitter every platform has its role and its character right and your brand therefore will have to take on the color the character of that platform the way you are on facebook cannot be the way you are on insta cannot be the way you are on linkedin or or twitter right on twitter you have to provoke a conversation on insta you have to look good fashionable nice interesting on on facebook you have to have connections uh, right uh, and therefore you have to take your brand and you have to think hard on how you are going to have a conversation with people think about people not just about yourself because people are interested in themselves so for example on pampers when we run a campaign that take a picture of your child with yourself and put it up people want to do that because people are interested in clicking pictures of their children right but if we tell them that look at pampers how great a uh, uh, a pad it is then people are not interested right so you have to make it interesting you have to make it relevant to people and be true to the platform social media is not one uniform platform is multiple platforms Thank you, sir. Then we next have Suraj. Uh, he's 
according to you what are the advantages of conventional marketing over digital marketing do you think that digital marketing is a threat to the future of conventional marketing yeah so actually i'll be a little blasphemous here there is nothing called as digital marketing or conventional marketing right i mean marketing is marketing it's like if you were born uh, 20 years ago there was a divide between television commercials and print ads right i mean there were certain agencies which were seen very good at tv work certain agencies seen as very good at uh, at print work but there was never called as print marketing or tv marketing digital is a medium we are all living with that medium uh, right nobody is not on digital everybody is on digital so you cannot not talk to consumers on that platform you have to talk to consumers on that platform and then you have to be true to the insights and the characteristics of that platform so i would say that Uh, all marketing is same marketing there is no conventional marketing there is no uh, digital marketing there is no choice uh, not to speak to your consumers on digital today you have to you know i'll go with the next question um in fact uh, it is not just the students who are here there are some alumni and uh, some industries industry people from the industry also are here and uh, to surprise us all we've got alvin saldana also joined here so this question is for both deeraj and alvin uh, how long do you expect pandemic consumer behavior to last and what is your opinion on the back to normal consumer behavior that happens after the pandemic is over yeah now that's a that's a tough one uh, my sense uh, so let me give you an example from last year so last year uh, ram uh, around september october uh, if you look at all the charts consumption charts in september october once the pandemic had eased out a bit and ipl started right i mean we we made uh, more revenue in the last quarter than would have made in any quarters over last 5 years right most of our clients whether it's bridgestone which is in tires or whether fmcg clients or uh, except for say travel brands uh, spices etc was still down and most of the clients had a huge uh, last quarter and they had a great first quarter this year so it was all resurgent it was all back so if that's a behavior right which means that everybody was back and everybody was back with vengeance i know of clients whose quarter 1 2021 has been the best in last many years right now that's one example the other evidence is if you look at what's going on in america right some of my friends uh, last week in america uh, i mean flight tickets from miami to new york is 800 dollars or 1000 dollars right uh, you're not able to find for example uh, if you look at uh, hotel industry today right now they are going very low on occupancy but if you look at say december you won't find a seat right now right so my my sense is that as soon as the curves uh, kind of get controlled we are we are hoping that uh, partial beginning partial opening up happens uh june mid uh, june end uh, july first week should be decent opening up of the economy uh so my sense is except for these two three months april may june say right i would expect this year to be to be a good year uh, from july onwards there will be there will be obviously some bit of revenge consumption in many categories there will also be categories which will continue to to see a bit of decline so for example uh airlines never picked up in the way that they should have uh, despite the pandemic going away so some categories will still continue to suffer but a lot of the ca categories we will see a, a huge comeback that's my sense yeah that's a brilliant strategic view now can i have the creative view from uh, alvin um we can you hear me uh, we can only hear you we can't see you okay uh i don't want to be seen um deeraj is far more handsome and has far more hair than i am and i know when i have been bested so i'll keep the camera off um i've been talking and writing for some time about revenge spending and uh, dheeraj spoke so well about it there is the simple human fact that when being let out of prison people do crazy things because they are free once the pandemic is over if this damn thing is over in the next 2 years people are going to go nuts and they are already going nuts deepak is talk uh, dheeraj is talking of a miami to boston flight for a thousand dollars i have a friend flying in from the us who was telling me that he's shocked because the return flight from bombay to new york used to be 1100 dollars so he's absolutely right people are having a fantastic quarter this year and uh, 
consumers being human beings are spending for two reasons number one they are spending for the hope of the life they are going to have again and they are spending to replicate the life that they are going to have and they are spending in memory of the life and the freedom that they used to have uh, the numbers are one thing the fact of the matter is that uh, people are missing a great many things because they fancy themselves being imprisoned they are going to spend with the vengeance and um, there is going to be an astonishing uptick in a hell of a lot of kind of spendings just because the pandemic got over i am waiting for the fashionable vaccines to arrive there are eight coming in india and um, i wouldn't be surprised if the covid vaccine became a commodity and we would show off that i got the covid shield and you got the covaxin and someone else got the british oxford astrazeneca and someone else got the american pfizer vaccine there are reports of people from latin america paying top dollar to fly their families into the united states so that they can get a vaccine there is going to be a warping of the market from one end also that is going to have a tremendous implication for all of us dheeraj uh, put it very well they are going to spend with a vengeance this quarter is astonishingly good um we are i would commit myself to saying that despite the greatest doomsday predictions of what is going to happen if the who announced the end to the pandemic and uh, what with the cdc in the united states making masks unnecessary we are going to see a lot of wild consumer activity already in the last year we've seen an unusual uptake in india of automobile sales can you believe it and research shows that people are now no longer interested in what they believe risking their lives to public transportation so they are buying small cheap cars with which to take their family around and the air purification systems of all the cars that entire industry is seeing a change because people are talking about having things filtered out of the air when they come out of the car etc 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 so um we are as marketers um go uh, we are as consumers going to practice one entire degree of uh, incredibly vengefully happy behavior and the brilliant strategists like dheeraj sena will have figured us out and will be waiting for us and will have already have brands and products ready to meet the needs that we have not just the needs we think we have the needs we have if you saw all the pictures that dheeraj sena put there is a horn that alerts motorists to a bend in the curve there is something that takes care of little girls schools and period times there are i have stood in that hdfc sticker in front of my chemist for at least 20 times in the last month so it's not that i watched a video dheeraj congratulations i stood inside that curve so thank you alvin um, thanks <laughs> so uh Dheeraj, why are you still more handsome than me? We knew each other in 2020. I look like this, and you look like a Hollywood film star. You're, you're, uh, you have hair. I don't have. You're just you have being become, polite by keeping your camera off. You know, you, you have know become spectacular on your camera. <laughs> you have become spectacularly successful all across the world. I'm very, very impressed. I want to acknowledge my deepest admiration for the. absolute tsunami of achievement that you have pulled off in the last 10 years uh, dheeraj has been someone i knew in 2020 and even then when he was a young kid uh, just new at mccann he was so outrageously brilliant that uh, he fair took our breath away so i'm very happy to have heard dheeraj speak after a long time and uh, yes back to the question So I agree completely with what Dheeraj says, and um, creatively that gives us a whole bunch of new ideas. Um, um, the the vicissitudes of life, periods for girls. We need to teach men to view them with compassion, and we need to recalibrate the Indian attitude towards so many of things that uh, affect Indian women. 
I loved both of Deeraj's books because of the way they ad they addressed similar topics. Um, I love Deeraj's compassionate way of looking at things. I don't like strategists who preach. Deeraj is not a strategist who preaches. So he looks at people with compassion. He looks at them with uh, an understanding of what the pain points of their lives are. So yes, expect especially Indians to behave like uh, people left let out of a prison. I have a friend who was telling me he has spent more money on his credit card every day of the pandemic locked up inside his home than he has ever spent when he was completely free. And he said, now that I'm home, my wife does not have control of the credit card. So all this pan pandemic spending is too is to be blamed on me. People are ordering food. People are discovering food. People are discovering things. Um, I am equally guilty. I found a site that makes lovely sculptures. I ordered a black panther. A black bull is coming tomorrow. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with them. But I ordered them because I want to feel alive. And I want to feel like nothing happened. And I want to feel like I haven't paid a price and I want to feel like I'm not going to die. And I don't want this bullying of the vaccine. And I don't want this bullying of a coronavirus. So thank you for asking the question, Ram, because this merits an enormous conversation. You should ask Deeraj to do an entire class on the strategic implications of declaring the pandemic closed. That would be a very interesting one. Because so we'll have him, have him for it. Thank you very much, Al. No uh, problem. Chitra, we can probably have two or three questions. Sure, sir. I know. Uh, we have Sandra with a question. She says, social media plays a major role in advertising. A lot of people use social media to advertise their brands, especially small businesses. It's come to a point where it's hard to believe what is real and what is not. What do you think people who really want to advertise their products amidst Millions of ads should do to stand out. See, I, I mean, I honestly feel that it's uh, you shouldn't chase standing out, right? You should chase being relevant. That's my message always, right? Uh, you should chase be connecting to people. I mean, doing bizarre things as a brand to stand out. Uh, even if you if you get eyeballs, you will not get sales. So that that attention is is wastage, uh, right? Uh, but if you if you connect with people, you do something interesting. People like it, and connection doesn't mean it doesn't have your humor. It can be humorous, it can be funny, it can be interesting, right? Uh, so I'm saying do interesting things, but do it around the brand, right? Do it around what your product is about. Do it what you can deliver uh, as a, as a brand and a product, right? I mean, if you're a jewelry brand, uh, why would you want to get Hindu Muslim together? I mean, it has no connection, right? You will get unwanted attention. It will not even sell your brand. So I would say stay focused to your category, stay focused to your product, right? And then be interested, be very, very interesting and be very, very relevant. Do not chase trying to be different because so many people are trying to be different. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's becoming bizarre out there. Yes, sir. We have next question is from Sentinel Nadin. How important is research to launch a new concept in FMCG in India? And how the intersection of data technology and platform plays a role in this case? So uh, you have to be very careful of research, right? Uh, seven out of 10 product launches, brand launches fail. And all of those, uh, those brands have done enormous amount of research, call people for a focus group discussion, fed them potato chips and pastries, given them casseroles as gifts and ask them, will you buy this? Right when a consumer is sitting in a drawing room among six other people and you're forcing her to answer whether you buy it or not, Indians by and large in politeness they will say yes I will buy it because they're not putting money on the table, right? And you launch the product and it fails, so do not use research as a test to ask people will you buy it, how much will you pay? Use research to get people to give you feedback. How could this product be better? Do you think it is relevant? Right? So use research for betterment, use research to understand people's needs, right? use research to uh, figure out what they really want. Do not use research to ask them for decisions. They do not know, they will not tell you the right thing and you will fail. We next have Raghavi. 
Have you ever come across a marketing campaign that failed? If so, what do you think went wrong and what needs to be done for it to succeed? Oh, so many. I mean, there are failures all along. I mean, Nano failed, right? Nano failed because uh, uh, it was sold like a cheap car. When Indians want to buy a car, they want to buy a sexy car, not a cheap car. Nano failed. Uh, I launched a brand called Manjal uh, with Marico. It was a soap brand, right? Uh, we bought that brand from a company called SD Pharmacy uh, in Tamil Nadu. Uh, and when we bought it, the brand used to do about 7 crores. My job was to take that brand from 7 to 11. And I was young and ambitious. And I said, wow, I can do that in two years. And it failed. It bombed. Right? I did a lot of research. Uh, I went to the, uh, you know, the deep uh, villages of Tamil Nadu, interviewed uh, women, ladies. Everybody said, Manjal, you know, turmeric, haldi, har jagah we put it on our body, we put it on our face, our pe hai. houses were painted yellow. I said, wow, I can't go wrong with this. We failed. Right? Because what, what women wanted from a soap wasn't a, a turmeric soap because that's what they're getting every day, either which face, through their, uh, through their uh, home remedies. And, and that's what the tradition is. When she's buying into the idea of a soap, she's buying into the idea of a scape. She wants a dam. She wants a lux. She wants... Brands which are shown on Star Plus, not brands which are shown on local Tamil channel, right? And we failed to create that aspiration in that brand. We went too much down tradition. Tradition was what she had. She didn't want to pay for tradition. She wanted aspiration and we did not give her aspiration. We failed. So these are the cases of how we fail when we misread the consumer, uh, right? Uh, and, and, and mind you, I've done a huge amount of research and research didn't save me on this. Uh, so it is it is understanding and experience you've got to apply in terms of what do people really want and what will they pay for. Okay, so I think a lot of people in the chat box want to know what are the skills we need as new age digital marketers. See, I would I would say uh, I would say think think like a consumer, think like people, right? I'm sure uh, your institute is teaching everything in terms of academic and skill sets, uh, right, to learn. I don't think I will uh, go down that path. But go out in the world with a lot of empathy, right? Go out in the world trying to understand what do people really need? What does the world needs? For example, at this point in time, the world needs healing, right? We all need healing. We need joy. We need, as Alvin was saying, uh, uh, a celebration of being alive or celebration of not having lost everything. Now, if you have a brand, if you have a product idea, if you have an ad idea, if you have an innovation idea, which uh, fulfills that need, you will succeed, right? So I would say this is not rocket science. This is empathy. This is being human. So go around being curious, looking at things, check out things, be alive to the stimulus that life is giving you. And there's no way how, well, that you will fail. Yes, sir. Thank you. Next, we have Shiva Prasad. How do you see the demand for digital marketing for brands in the next five to 10 years in India and international market? So digital marketing is already here. A good 40% of media budget is actually going to digital marketing. So why go 10 years? I mean, 10 years is too far. 10 years would be AI, ML, maybe uh, AR experiences, maybe something more, which is not being developed today, uh, right? Which you guys will go out and develop. Uh, so I would, I would say, uh, I can't say 10 years now, I would say uh, this year, the digital marketing is already a lot of our clients have in fact shifted their disproportionate sums of investment in digital uh, beyond uh, mainline. Okay, so next up, Darshini. Is it worth to do paid ads or should I invest that money into organic growth? See, now, uh, I mean, now everything is paid. Right. If you will not pay, then you will not get any any traction. Right. I mean, everything is pretty much paid, but paid doesn't mean boring. Right. That's the flag. So you have to do paid, uh, but you have to do paid in an interesting way. You have to do influencer marketing in an interesting way. You have to be authentic. You have to uh, tell a good story that people want to hear. Uh, some of the stories I showed you today. So, for example, Jeep Democracy is, is paid promotion, but it was uh, it trended. Mobile Shala is paid, but it, it's trended. So if you do something which is interesting, people want to participate in, uh, it will work for you, but it has to be paid. I mean, you will not go for much, much distance today with organic. Uh, things don't move with organic. Okay, so I think we'll take one more last question. 
which is which one is more effective for small business advertising in the long run facebook or google ads so we do it in combination there's not either or right it's a bouquet uh, right so uh, when we uh, depends on which audience we are you're getting where i mean today for example google is pretty much a tv channel it's got a huge reach i mean there are 400 million people on youtube it's as good as a tv channel uh, right uh, but you can do far better targeting uh, on on a google than you can on a tv uh, right uh, similarly on facebook you can do a far better targeting on interests on facebook so we always use a combination we don't use either or thank you sir i think with that we come to an end of this session thank you So thank you so that was definitely enlightening and enriching so it's on behalf of you on the best yeah thank you so thank you so much on behalf of grd i would like to extend my gratitude and appreciation to you sir for having broadened our horizon i would also like to take this opportunity to thank our director dr kk ramachandran sir for having given us such platforms to learn and grow my sincere gratitude to our faculty for the immense support and encouragement and finally thank you my fellow mates for being such good listeners and active participants and making the session a huge success thank you all once again great thank you so much uh, looking forward to probably get you to kaimatur once the normalcy comes up or maybe at the taj thank you ram i enjoyed this and bye alvin thank you so much always kind Thank you. Bye guys. Take care. All the best. Have a great future guys. Take care. Stay safe.